guys welcome back to my channel so welcome to another grocery haul so this is preparing me for week two on whole 30 plus i'm also doing weight watchers along with that so i've been showing you guys throughout the week what i've been eating so i'm going to show you this and then i will show you my meal plan i don't have it written out yet but i will show you that at the end of this video and i will also have my meal plan down below in the description box with any links to any recipes that i mention so let's get started so I have some 93.7 ground turkey. One day for dinner, I'm gonna be making some tur turkey meatballs to have with a cauliflower sweet potato mash. So I'll be having that. And then I have some chicken tenders here. This will be for chicken fajita salads one night and also just to make it for the kids to have some chicken throughout the week for lunch and whatnot. I just like to grill up a bunch of chicken on meal prep day and then the family can just eat it for lunch since I'm at work. And then I have a big thing of chicken breast here that will be used for dinners. And then underneath here I have some stew meat. I'm gonna be doing an Irish beef stew with a cauliflower potato mash. So that'll be for dinner tomorrow night, which I will show you guys in a video. And then I picked up some rosemary because I'm gonna be making a whole chicken in a crock pot. So I do have a whole video on this. I will have that link down below next to this um, down in my meal plan. So I'm gonna do a rosemary lemon chicken. So I'm gonna use the rosemary and there's the chicken. For my coffee, I've been using um, a combination of the better half Califia Farms creamer and the cashew milk. So this is what I'm using. Also, I'll show you what else I've been using in my coffee. So this is really good. It's just kind of expensive. Um, one of the dinners this week is that fajita salads I mentioned. It also has a lime vinaigrette. So you need some orange juice in that. And orange juice is allowed to use if you're using it in recipes and whatnot. So as long as it's 100% juice, no like added sugar and that kind of thing. So this will be for a, like I said, a lime vinaigrette that I'm making. Um, I have two things of coconut milk. So this is what I've been using is this light coconut milk. I've been using this in my coffee um, usually, I don't know, one time a day or so, and it's really good. And it's only two smart points for a quarter cup, and that's what I've been using. So um, it just makes it really super creamy. It does not make it sweet at all. You cannot taste the coconut. It does not taste like coconut. It is really strange. But um, it just makes it really creamy, which is something that I have been enjoying. I picked up some of the Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Later in the week, I mean later in the month, I'm gonna be doing some buffalo chicken recipes. So I'll be using this, but I also thought I'd try this on my eggs. It just sounded really good. I've been wanting kind of spiciness on my eggs. So I thought this would be good on my eggs. I picked up two things of coffee. This one's like a high caffeine coffee, and this is just a regular original coffee. It was on sale, so that's why I picked it up. I'm trying to save some money. Um, that's the reason why I have two different brands of eggs here. These ones were on sale at my Safeway for only like $2.50 a dozen. These are the cage-free eggs that they have there. And then these are like actually my favorite eggs are these al fresco. So between these and the happy eggs are my two favorite eggs. So I did pick up one of these because they were on sale for um, $4.99, which is a really good price because they're normally like $7.99 to $8.99. Um, but I did want to pick up enough because the kids eat the eggs too. Then I picked up some cashew milk. One of the days this week I'm having chicken pot pie soup and I have a little bit of cashew, cashew milk left but I need that, need more for that recipe. Um, for lunch today I am making pork ramen noodle, noodle bowls with um, making like zucchini noodles but you also need the coleslaw for that. So I'll have that. And then I am doing a balsamic chicken and vegetable sheet pan for my lunches this next week. So I picked up a few different vegetables. So I got some asparagus stir fry and then two things of the broccoli Normandy. So I'll be having that with that chicken. And I will be showing you guys how I make that in meal prep video, which will be up tomorrow. And I think the rest is produce. So I have some celery to go in that chicken pot pie soup, the zucchini for the zoodles. Um, the peppers are gonna be for that chicken fajita salad. Oranges, just because I have been really liking oranges. I got two things of broccoli just to have for sides. And then I'm gonna use this as the base for my um, cauliflower sweet potato mash. So I'm gonna be using this to mash up for that. 
And then I also have some sweet potatoes left over from last week that I'll add if I need to make some more. I have romaine lettuce, as it can be for the chicken fajita salads, and then just regular spring mix for my side salads for dinners. Spinach, I'm gonna put those in the turkey meatballs. And then, like I said, I had some sweet potatoes left over from last week, but I ran out of regular potatoes, so I picked up some Yukon Gold, some red potatoes, so these I like to make roast up for breakfast or just to make uh, cauliflower, soup, um, cauliflower potato mash, which I'll be making with the Irish stew. Red onion, just to have. A couple onions for recipes. I needed the limes for the lime vinaigrette. Um, I'm gonna use these for breakfast the next couple days uh, for the weekend, so I just got a small ones of those. I really like the purple potatoes. I got some avocados that I've been eating quite often with all of my meals. Green onion, just to go with various recipes, plus for salads. Picked up some opal apples, one of my favorites. And then carrots for the chicken pot pie soup, plus just to have to snack on. So uh, that is everything that I picked up for my week two on Whole30, plus for what I'm eating on Weight Watchers. So stay tuned right now and you will see the meal plan. Okay guys, so here is gonna be my menu for the week. Um, this is my Carrie L meal planner. I love it, this is the smaller one. Um, I will have a link down below where you can get a discount and you can check out all the different designs that she has. So this is gonna be the week of January 14th and today is Saturday, so I wanted to kind of show you what I already have for last week is where I have the Saturday and Sunday. So this is what I'm getting ready to make right now. I'm gonna have that for lunch. So for dinner, I have a bunch of stuff in there I need to eat up for leftovers from the rest of the week. So that's what I'll be doing for dinner. Um, and then for dinner Sunday, so tomorrow night is gonna be the Irish stew with the cauliflower potato mash that I told you about. So then for this next week, starting on Monday, I'm gonna do that rosemary and lemon chicken in the crock pot. This could be the whole chicken in the crock pot. I'm gonna do the fajita salads with the lime vinaigrette, chicken pot pie soup, and the turkey meatballs with the cauliflower sweet potato mash. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna do it all in this order, but I just like to write it out. And But I have all the ingredients, so I know I can have whatever I feel like. And then Friday, we usually have, Friday and Saturday is usually leftovers. And then um, Sunday, I'll start over again, but I'm not sure what I'm gonna have yet, because I'll do grocery shopping on Saturday. So this side I found was too small for my grocery list. I just don't write small enough for it. So I use it to plan out my breakfasts and my lunches and then kind of start a little, just a rough draft of my meal prep. So for breakfast this week, I'm gonna be making some hash brown waffles, which I will be meal prepping. I need to put that on my list down there. And of course I'll have eggs. I'm gonna roast up some potatoes, have some chicken sausages. So all those will be in there. So whatever I feel like having for breakfast. Lunches, I'm gonna do a broccoli ranch twice baked potato. So I will be making that in meal prep and then a balsamic chicken veggie bake. So you guys will see that as well. And then just any leftovers from the whole week. And then so kind of what my rough meal prep is gonna be, I'm gonna make that lime vinaigrette ahead of time so it's ready to go. I'm gonna make the turkey meatballs, put them in the freezer. That way at least they're just all ready to go. I won't be cooking them yet. I'm just gonna make them into balls and put them in the freezer. I may cook them if I have time tomorrow during meal prep and then just put them in the freezer. And then my lunches, my two lunches, I'll be prepping those. I need to make some more balsamic vinaigrette, vinaigrette dressing. My son really liked that. And then I'm gonna cut up all the veggies for the various dinner recipes. So like the chicken pot pie soup has quite a few veggies. So I'm gonna get that all cut up, put them into a Ziploc bag so they're ready to go. Same with the fajita salads. So I'm just gonna get those ready, cut up the lemons for the chicken, because I'll have to start this before I leave for work. So I wanna have everything ready for that and ready to go. I may even get that ready in the crock pot on Sunday and just put the crock pot in the refrigerator if I have room. But either way, that's what I'll be working on. So you guys will see a meal prep video tomorrow. So here is my meal plan for the week. It will be listed down in the description box along with um, links to all of the recipes that I have links to. I believe actually I have a link to every single one of these recipes plus that Irish beef stew so and also these two. So you'll have lots of links to recipes that I'll be using plus you can see what they look like in tomorrow's meal prep video. 
So thank you so much for joining me for a, another meal plan and grocery video. And I hope you guys are enjoying all my what I ate videos on Whole30. I've been keeping track of everything I've been eating every day and just posting them every couple days. So I hope you guys are enjoying that. Let me know if you are doing Whole30 along with me and how it is going for you. I will be doing a recap video on Monday. So stay tuned for that and you'll see how I am liking it, any of my symptoms I've been having besides what I've been already talking about. And also stay tuned tomorrow. I will have a meal prep video up. So I will see you then. Bye guys.